Hello, uh, today we're going to look at this model. This model comes shipped with Autodesk Inventor. It's a uh, model of a hair dryer, and it's, ex it's an example of some very advanced features that if we learn how to do these, we can apply these to other models that we may make, either in our reverse engineering unit or in any kind of advanced modeling unit where we want to create some nice designs and have them be somewhat ergonomic. Um, to learn more about this model and how it was made, you can look at the browser and as you mouse over these you can see what each one was. And even though they've been renamed, we can see what they are by the icon. For example, this was a loft. We can see that it here and when also if we double click on this we can see that this was created by a loft. Same thing with these other features and here's a sweep and if we double click on it we can see that that was the sweep and how that was made. It has um, a stripe that follows this tapered path. An indent it was created with a sculpt. We have uh, some offset planes that were created and also a loft to a nice rounded end. So it is, if we've never done like something like this before, um, we can learn a lot just by trying to recreate how this was made. And that's kind of what the, uh, the goal is here. We're going to take this hair dryer and make one ourselves and basically just learn how this was done. So in this first part, we're going to start out with just this sketch. This was the sketch that was used for the body here. So we're going to drag this end part up and if we can take this and, and make the same thing, um, like I said, we'll, we'll learn quite a few new features along the way. So you can see that um, there's been a work plane placed out here for the loft. And if I double click on that, I can see that that was placed 15 millimeters away. You can also see another work plane was uh, here that's been made invisible. And that work plane was minus five. And this model started out on that work plane minus five from the origin plane. So if we show that as the YZ plane, you can see that those two planes were 0.5 away. So this was offset minus five from the origin. And that's how we're starting here with this and you can see that it was started on the YZ plane. It's not in the, the default XY plane. So looking at this, we can see it was t extruded 80 millimeters away from us. And it has a minus 4 taper. So let's start out with that first. So we're going to do an extrusion. We want to extrude away from those and the distance was 80 millimeters and it has a taper on it and we'll apply that minus four taper here also. Okay, next you can see that there was another work plane off here and that work plane as we saw was 15 millimeters away. So that was done easily enough. We was all we need to do is just select plane here, mouse over this surface, and it's a click and drag. That was 15 millimeters, and that's all we needed on that. Going back to here, we can see that the next step, the next thing that was done was a loft. And this loft had a sketch. You can see the sketch, all it was is just a point and lofted from these edges. So 
So let's put a sketch on this work plane. Let's add, all we'd need to add is a point. I'll put it straight up from here, approximately somewhere around here. Looks good. Finish our sketch. And now we can loft to make that nice and rounded on the end here. So that was a loft here. And now, you notice I can't, well, it looks like I have edges. And I'm going to click to add, and I'm going to select this point right here. Now you can see that it comes to a point by default. And by the way, the keyboard shortcut is F4 to be able to orbit. So we're going to change our condition to a tangent condition. That makes this rounded. And also we want to come in tangent to the point also. And you can see how it changed the shape there. We can also then make this plane invisible. And that's how they made this nice rounded end on this part. You can see that the names have been changed here. So to get that was called body rear. And if you want to do that, you could do the same thing. Okay, so that's the beginning part of this. And in the next part, we'll create this handle.